Hello and welcome to another GIMP tutorial. Today we're going to look at um, downloading something called um, the GIMP Portable app. Um, and the reason we're going to do that is because obviously if you're using GIMP regularly and you have it installed on your home computer that's all very well and good but if you need to do some very quick edits when you're at a computer that doesn't have GIMP installed um, you can find it quite frustrating that you know something that's so easy in GIMP just like you know cropping an image or saving it as a different file format or, or even some of the heavier edits and um, it's very hard to do that on somebody else's computer um, you know they might have Photoshop or something you might not be familiar with so um, today we're going to look at how you can have your own copy of um, GIMP available all the time um, and all you need for this is a USB um, and the great thing about the portable application of GIMP is it is tiny um, the original download um, for the installation package is 18 megabytes and then when it's installed you can see here um, it only comes in at a maximum of 71 megabytes so even with um, a USB that I've got here which has got plenty of stuff in it if I show you the properties um, you know, I've used up nearly all of the space on this um, 2 gig USB and there's only a little bit of room left um, but that will actually be enough for us to install portable GIMP and then we can take that anywhere we want um, so firstly I'll just show you where you can get hold of portable GIMP um, well firstly the, this is the, um, the download page for GIMP portable um, where it is at the moment um, but obviously sometimes web pages change their name and things so um, the really simple thing you can do is just if you do a Google search for portable GIMP or GIMP portable um, it will be the first thing that comes up it's a very uh, reliable um, software package there's no viruses it's, uh, it's been going for a very long time it's very trustworthy so it's the first source that always comes up whenever you search for a portable GIMP uh, incidentally you can also look for other portable applications as well um, and you might find some of those are quite useful like portable Firefox uh, but today we'll just look at Portable GIMP. So you follow this through to the uh, to the download page, and you're presented with um, if you're using Windows um, the the download button for that. And we just get an instruction there that we're not to right click it and save as, but you just simply press the download button. Okay, so you might find that you get stuck at this um, advertising page. Um, now obviously, because SourceForge is providing this. Um, free of charge and because GIMP provides this free of charge then you know there's a lot of advertising that you need to sift through sometimes to get something for free um, which is all fine um, but sometimes you might get stuck on this page so if you do you can um, either try the direct link or the mirror um, so I'm just going to go with the, the direct link for this at the moment and you'll see that we get um, the, the download uh, dialog box come up um, now you can just run this straight away but I'm just going to save it first just to show you um, everything that we're downloading to talk through what we've got so I'm just going to save that and I'm going to save it into um, the USB that I have okay so I'm just going to save this here okay and there you can see we've got this um, downloaded okay so once we've got it downloaded we can um, use the the executable file that we've got here now this isn't actually GIMP at the moment if we click on this it won't open up GIMP but this gives us the installation package um, that we use to install it on the USB so what we're going to do is double click on this and we'll go through a, an installation um, setup process and what we're actually doing is installing it on the USB so all of the files needed to run GIMP will be on the USB you can take it to any computer at all there's absolutely no other setup that's needed so we just go through this process um, and then we get some very um, simple setup windows to go through so if we wanted to choose another language or a new component to add then we could do that but we don't need to uh, and then we just simply okay it doesn't want to give us that destination folder so we just need to make sure it is actually installed on the USB which is what I haven't done. So I'm just going to make a new folder for this on the USB. I'll call it GIMP. Okay, so you need to make sure that your destination folder is somewhere on your USB, which was a mistake that I've left off. Okay, so once the setup's complete, you just click on finish. 
and if we look in the folder that we created here which we didn't really need to create you'll see that you've got the executable file um, GIMP portable exe and then when we launch that um, the GIMP loads up as normal now something that I've noticed is that when you do this for the first time um, it can be a little bit slow um, but it speeds up with um, subsequent uses Okay, so as you can see, it opens up um, the GIMP that we're used to. Um, now I've had other um, tutorials in the past that have shown you how to customize GIMP so that it, um, for example, might have a, a smaller bar here and might have um, particular um, tools always available. So, um, for example, I might include some of these tools that I use a lot. So if you've seen my other tutorials, you know that uh, these buttons are ones that I use quite a lot, whereas I don't tend to use uh, some of these, so you can get rid of these um, if they're not ones that you use. And the, the good thing about Portable GIMP is that once you've made those changes and you close it, if you open it up again, um, it remembers those changes. Um, so it is the same as having it installed on your computer, um, only you've got it installed on a USB, which makes it portable. Anyway, um, I hope you found this useful. Uh, I know it's not technically a, a GIMP tutorial where you get to learn something cool, but having GIMP in your pocket wherever you go is going to be infinitely useful. 